So you've actually you've mentioned quite a few of the national prob problems that are seriously devastating the country and its citizens, um, particularly the poor and vulnerable who have, in my opinion, been almost completely let down um, after 30 years of ANC rule. And so I think one of the things you mentioned and where, where we can start um, is uh, you mentioned that you're pro free markets and um, you're pro against uh, affirmative action uh, and anything that kind of limits um, and regulates maybe uh, the ability for employers to hire and fire who they like. And so, the first, and so that problem um, has been particularly uh, devastating for the youth of South Africa in this country because. Right now we see a situation in which there is incredibly few opportunities for the youth um, and for and what there is you have to fight tooth and nail and hope for the best that you might get s something. And so you've mentioned that the free market economy is where you'll go um, and how you would create and restart growth in the economy, but how does this um, create more employment and more opportunity uh, in the country? Well, firstly, you've mentioned the youth. You must remember that the unemployment rate in South Africa for the youth is about 60%. Now, there are different reasons for that. Firstly, I think the educational system is failing them. You get people, they go through the educational system and uh, uh, secondary school and everything, but they are just not up to standard, unfortunately. But now, if you go and look at black economic empowerment and you look at affirmative action those are the two instruments used by the government actually misused by the government to ensure corruption hmm. and firstly if you look at black economic empowerment I say it's not black economic empowerment it's nothing else than black elite enrichment that hmm. is what it is it's only a few people with the correct political connections that benefit from that. And then it is not a matter that they use it to create necessarily more jobs. The Freedom Front Plus has an alternative to that. We call it BEST. We say it must be black economic skills transfer that should take place in South Africa. Transfer the skills in the workplace also to black entrepreneurs so that they can understand that they have to create jobs. So therefore we say replace black economic or BEE with BEST, best. Mm. Affirmative action is also most used because you get now civil servants appointed in strategic positions which they just don't have the qualifications. It's as simple as that. And it's a reason for because they are only the puppets to ensure that corruption can take place. Hmm. So what is happening? The service delivery is just collapsing. And the place where it is actually, can I say, the most uh, disastrous is on local government level. Because that's where they deploy these people, also in national departments. But if you go to local government uh, level, then you will see that service delivery is actually imploding. Mm -hmm. uh, so we say that that should be addressed and very, very quickly and so with, with drastic steps we have to take to ensure that we do away. Because if you take away affirmative action, and let me use a good example. ESCOM, the electricity supply in South Africa, is a perfect example. Mm -hmm. I've asked a question in Parliament around about 2004 and asked how many white engineers and professionals left ESCOM because of affirmative action. Hmm. The minister at that stage officially said more than 400. That was his figure. Now we're paying the price. ESCOM is collapsing because of affirmative action. They all admitted it now, but it's too late. The damage has been done. So just to give you an idea of the effect mm -hmm. of affirmative action, South Africa 
as very good qualified people, black, white, colored, and Indians. Colors has, hasn't got to do with it. They are professionals. They are good people. Mm. And what South Africa now needs is that we need the best of the best to ensure that we have growth, that the economy can grow, and that we can fix South Africa. Mm. Uh, and that's all sectors. I mean, if you go to the economy, I don't even want to talk, if we can talk about the construction mafia. Uh, and that's where the, the security situation is coming in. We have to fix it, and the only way is do away with black economic empowerment, do away with affirmative action, fix the, justice, the criminal justice system, fix the educational system in South Africa. So you've talked um, about uh, the skills transfer um, as a means of upliftment and a, and a more positive means of upliftment than uh, BEE and affirmative action, but um, <clears throat> how uh, would you go about fix fixing the education system on the lower levels because obviously the skills transfer is something that will happen at a much later level in a person's education but from when people move into public schools, when they first start public schools, the public education system is failing them. So how is, what is the BF Plus's plan to fix the schools from the bottom up, let's say? Well, if we take the educational system, for instance, hmm. then we say that firstly we will have to go and look who are the teachers. Hmm. Uh, they will have to comply to certain standards. And Part of that is the system itself to ensure that they are in the classes and that they educate the children. Because you get a situation, they just don't pitch up at school. Uh, thirdly, we also say that the principals must be scrutinized in this sense to ensure that they are really qualified to run a school. And of course, a very important issue is discipline. Hmm. We don't have proper discipline in our schools. I mean, just yesterday, the president, when he spoke to the union, the teachers union, he said, it's totally unacceptable that teachers are actually uh, victims of crime, where teachers are stabbed with knives, where they are actually sh shot by pupils, and vice versa, where uh, scholars or uh, children, for instance, where they are raped by their teachers. I mean, that is the, can I say, terrible situation in our educational system. So if you, it's only a few, but if you start with that, already you will create a situation and then, can I say, a conducive environment to ensure that you have better education. Now then we will have to go and look at our standards. Uh, it's, in, can I say, actually totally unacceptable that you can pass a grade but you only have 30 or 35 percent. It's totally unacceptable. Uh, we will have to go back to basics.